Hello, wonderful evening. My beautiful people out there. It's still afternoon, sorry. It's the weather. I just checked. It's just two, three. We're close to the evening sessions of today. And it's been a wonderful week, weekend for us. And going into the new week, um, first thing I would ask for two things. Number one, after watching this video, please share to as far as you want it to go. Just share, let it go. Make with the loudam, you know. Make with the loudam. We are bringing out quality. We are bringing out value. So let's loud it. The same way you will loud out bad news. Let's loud this one well. We must. Our generation must begin to understand the culture that we must be louding out good things, good things, good things, good things, good things. You know. So number one is the fact that I appreciate and I value everyone who has been louding this thing, who has been louding the move. We don't take it for granted because we know it's not our right. We are so grateful. We love you. We honor you. We are so, so thankful to you. Now, let me go to the uh, one of the reasons why I will be making this video. Number one is to con um, clarify certain conceptions that has been set out of in the public space um, by one or two persons who would want to um, gain grounds by trying to discredit others. Yeah, this is just to put out our own content now the first thing is i will tell you that in this present economic reality we are found in nigeria now anybody who gives you a single digit interest rate is doing you sincere good now the choice of who you go for is your is the client's own ultimate business now don't allow anybody tell you that because they are giving you something lesser it means it's better or the one who is giving you something higher does not know what he or she is doing listen um africa is an open economy and as a student of one of the course MSs i'm doing is industrial sociology but let me speak as a student of political economy as a student of political economy it is stated that the african economy so long as there is an existence of analogous um, um transactions you cannot have a unified rate upon which things are done but you could have a benchmark what i'm trying to say is in africa mama and kechi will be, might be selling tomato for 200 naira in the same africa mama bioma might be selling tomato for 150 naira in the same africa um, mama philip will be sending tomato for 170 naira now you cannot begin to apply aptly um western economic analysis into the african scenario it will not work it would not work it can't work now on this base i'll try to let you know that number one is anybody who is giving you a single digit rate at this point in time is when you were whether it be nine whether it be eight whether it be um, seven whether it be six it depends on every individual the ultimate choice goes to the client. So what you want to choose is what you choose. So don't allow anybody brainwash you or don't allow anybody give you an information that because theirs is lesser or theirs is higher, theirs is better. No. The ultimate choice goes to the client. As a client, when you approach the issues of investment, watch yourself. You should watch. Ultimately, you should watch. And where you're, you are at peace at, that is where you should go. You know? Um, never for once have we stood on any ground to discredit any organization or have we stood on any ground to say we are we are the ultimate if you watch our words and personally my words carefully i've always mentioned that we are part of the new move i've always mentioned that we are not here to take over we are here to fit in the gap in which we've been called into to be listen the first thing we are to know is um never lose and never allow anybody make you feel like a loser the also, secondly, I want to quickly state that with Benignant Force Nigeria Limited, you are assured, you are safe, you are guaranteed. We are here not just for ourselves, we are here for the people. That is why, listen, that is why we we'll begin to understand that we are here for you. Really, we are here for you. We are here for you because we value you. We are interested in your growth. And we want to do this growth together. We want to do this growth together. It is expedient that we grow together. Because when you get to the top alone, you discover that it's a lonely place to be. So I want to go there together. Man, what's up? True, man. Anyway, look at it. It's still called the blues. Shit. It's up to everybody to choose. Whatever platform, whatever nigga channel you watch, just like cable TV. Who cares? But then, for the damn fools that's still left in America at this time, that's on YouTube, nigga. Everybody got caught up in the COVID, staying at home shit. Man, fuck a lying ass nigga with a lying ass channel. With a line as remix. 
Wishy wash ass bullshit. Time for time for a nigga to go ahead and do some cleansing, some purging. So what up? I'm gonna say this right here. I've been A1 since day one. This ain't about no motherfucking membership shit. I'm so sick of hearing that shit. It's just time for a reformat. Because these nigga plays affect my goddamn channel indirectly. Now they may switch. They may they may like this new Jerry Spring ass shit. <laughs> On time nigga. Stop bouncing. Bouncing, bouncing ass baby ass niggas, man. Be be thorough and consistent. Don't wait till another nigga say something. And then you want to dip on that. But then the funny thing about that is that you got to switch back to some shit. Okay, drama. Just like reality TV. Y'all got to pick which, which motherfucking bitch you is. Or which, which female panel y'all running if y'all look at reality TV. What the fuck is this? The View? Or is this some Jerry, Jerry, Jerry type shit? Drama. Drama. Drama is all y'all want. Y'all pay for this shit. Drama is all y'all want. Okay. Everything cool. Everything cool if y'all love drama. But shit. Tell a motherfucker to sum that shit up. Or we out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Say some real shit. All this motherfucker remix. I see the black on black crime. And shit went way before my time. Might be way before some of these other niggas' time, but man, I wanna hear all that bullshit. And this motherfucker's time with all this shit going on in the real goddamn world. It's all this pitter pat ass bullshit. I can't control none of that shit. Can't control none of that shit. So y'all niggas like <laughs> my brother be liking the hustle to be ran on them and shit. So much to the point that it's just like America get up on y'all ass. <laughs> y'all like keeping y'all head down. Uh, just make just yeah. Let me support you. At the same time, a motherfucking bitch ass nigga talking about how much money he make and how he, how he bought off YouTube check. Well, bitch. Keep your YouTube shit, but stop taking from the people, nigga. What cause they gonna support? You know what I'm saying? If I can't have all that motherfucking money for being, it never works like that with the real, authentic, certified motherfuckers. Everybody else gotta have a a scam or a motherfucking hustle that they can't hold to. They always remixing shit. Y'all start holding these motherfuckers accountable. But I don't think y'all want this shit. I don't think y'all want that. I think y'all like keeping y'all head down and shit like that. Y'all let bitch niggas get away with some motherfucking shit. I always got a built-in pass. YouTube, man, they goddamn serious. First of all, these niggas got small numbers that ain't got no effect on motherfucking Google. But they constantly screaming some big mouth ass bullshit. From panel to panel. Channel to channel. Drama. All fucking black. Every motherfucker seeing one of the motherfucking participants is black. From the subscribers to the goddamn motherfucking nigga that's running the channel. To the niggas that he bring on the channel. To the niggas that be a other channel. To the nigga that supervise and all a whole lot of kind of shit. Y'all stupid, dumb crazy. So I don't see if you smart, you'll feel me. If you real, you'll feel me. If you see the wall closing in, you'll feel me. If you know me and you've been here for a minute, you'll know my frustration level, which brings out another side of true result. That's the funny thing about growing up, going through some real shit and surviving. Is that you, you're appreciative of where you made it and you just give God the glory. But that don't make you perfect 
Because when it's time to handle your business, everything you learn along the way, living that street life, sometimes you got to take the the gangster out of it and then remix it to go to war. Is that what it's going to be? It's going to be what it is. I said all that to say, niggas make me sick. Niggas make me sick. For the niggas that make me sick, nigga, fuck your name. Some niggas make me sick. Yeah, I can tell you how some of them like this. So anybody that wanted to catch some shit out there can feel it. The niggas that make me sick is a grown motherfucker with a Jerry Springer show with a whole fucking format. Open his goddamn mouth talking about you got the liveest content. Nigga, where the content at? Leader. Motherfucking teacher. <laughs> See, ain't no... <clears throat> ain't only thing you can win from this. Only thing you can... Only, only prize you can win from this... This kind of shit over here. It's a pulsar. Yeah. That mean, uh... That's some... That's, that's, that's a... That's documentation that, uh... <laughs> you done broke some shit. Do extensive research. Pull a surprise. You know? I ain't trying to win that kind of prize. Nigga, put your hats back on your head. And stop collecting tips. You ain't did shit. Entertain. Ain't nobody got to pay no rich nigga. That's, 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 that's first and foremost. Motherfucker flash of cash. Talking about rich shit. Well, y'all keep y'all money out goddamn pocket. Because I'm out here doing shit. And, uh, it took all this, it took all these months. My motivation come from somebody, something else different. Come from my life. My give back. My give back gang is real. It just, it would not be televised. Nor is it to be brag on. There ain't nothing to brag on. It's fulfilling as hell. And uh I I'm at a crossroad because I mean, no matter what I speak on, it always takes research. It always takes me paying for documents. It always takes me doing something by my goddamn self for my my people. Just to have these niggas around. Big mouth ass. Ratchet to ratchet ass. Fucking every fucking nick, every fucking channel is talking about the same shit about another man. You're wasting time, homie. Our homies. Y'all wasting motherfucking time. You don't like this shit. I don't care. One thing you can do is like respectfully challenge what the fuck I'm saying because <laughs> all we gonna do is, is, is check your your uploads time to start checking motherfuckers uploads inconsistency you know, catch a motherfucker in a lie talking about this that that everything is about what somebody else doing that ain't no unity definitely don't bring no peace the only thing y'all do is separate now y'all bringing up females and <laughs> what the fuck going on? Oh, that shit sad as hell. See, I'm gonna do my job. That's why I'm talking like this right now because I've been doing. I've been. I've been about what I started. That's how I started. See, I got some some fake ass get rich quick hustle your people type bullshit about y'all channels. And I ain't never got an answer about my channel. But, uh, that's I already know. You don't ever hear me talk about money. Anybody that's been here, been around for a minute, I already know what I do and what I'm about. Because it's been shown and it's been proved. Because I'm out here. YouTube is, YouTube is a platform to enlighten 
enlighten my people. And so, you do. I use it how it needs to be used. Talking about a particular subject that might be have some investigative work to do. Time I mow three and shit like that, but uh, definitely not no motherfucking blogger. Worrying about what the fuck about no celebrities and shit. All the motherfucking rappers gonna keep on dying. I ain't gotta be reporting on this shit. You don't need no teaching in that. You need to find out. Somebody gonna have to get to the system. Systematic motherfucking shit. The reason why back to back rappers dying. Not to be. Everybody else does this shit. That shit I ain't make. I would never have. I mean, I shut this shit down today. And I start over if ever I need to pick it back up. But, uh, what the fuck is a YouTube channel? For a nigga that ain't never had nothing. A fucking hustle. A goddamn hustle disruption. Everything bad that a nigga would do. With no motherfucking conscience of white people looking at you and laughing like a motherfucker. That's why they allow y'all to do that bullshit. Conscious motherfucker like me. Shit. Nigga. <laughs> I ain't worried about going green. We worry about uh using the motherfucking shit. The suppression is what it is to me. And so I have to have thought and consideration in the way I put together videos. When I go into the editing room, that's a conscious thought. My delivery. I know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to my goddamn people. And I also know what platform is it until I get my own. <laughs> you gotta buy by the goddamn rule. But for y'all motherfucking, y'all niggas, y'all black ass, yeah, I'm call y'all niggas because I ain't represent shit. And then say something. That's the funny thing about it. Bring that shit to me. I'm ready to go ahead and sit down. So we can talk about what the fuck I'm talking about. I don't want to hear nothing. Because all we do is we're going to channel. We're going to channel check. We're going to channel serve. Show me your, show me your consistency. I don't care about the motherfucking shit that look like church. What? You going to hear some music? Motherfucker got to like some shit before. You even, just to, what, like what, some bullshit that lies? Inconsistent as bullshit. And then, the major thing is the wave. My motherfucker do this. Everybody do the same thing. But I thought it was all about motherfucking content. Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck I, so y'all call yourself bloggers and shit. Damn, got the audacity. <laughs> when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you blogging or whatever the fuck you doing, when your numbers are high, you get a big head. Then you say you got the hottest. How many niggas gonna say the same bullshit as it? The hottest. You, you talking about what? You got the best what? Content. <laughs> Nigga, what is content? Tell me the, the, the uh, textbook definition of content. Then see, do I give a fuck? Something about content is about messages, things that people can tune in to, to see what's going on around them, worldwide, nationwide, so that they can be more prepared. It's about finding a way to not have your voice suppressed on this on this on this platform that you using like me. It's just in order to teach and keep people alert. And then one or two things you be passionate about like mode three. Shit. <laughs> Take it to the heart. Cause I am who I am. Pretty much. It's good, yeah. It's about everything that you can do that you couldn't do. Being that people tune in to you. It ain't about no motherfucker. 
See, that's what y'all feed off of. And people gonna get tired of that bullshit as these walls keep closing in because that I don't hear nobody preparing nobody. Ain't nobody. YouTube got y'all niggas scared. That like bitches. Yeah, I know YouTube supports y'all little disruption of a already failing race. I love y'all grown ass niggas. <laughs> I don't hear doing serving your purpose. Cause master say, <laughs> y'all respect the wrong shit. But I want to hear always talking about shit. Don't label yourself no motherfucking king, nigga. Unless you're the king of yourself. Don't label yourself. Don't be sitting over here. Everybody sitting over here talking about you ain't da 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 nothing. And see, I'm way over here, but. I'm quite sure everybody know. When I first started, shit, <laughs> I did what I did to to niggas that still here, your favorites. Shit, <laughs> I'm talking about. I ain't got no time and no sense of the nigga, but what I can do is explain. I always brought me to my own lane because a fight is a fight, big mouth ass nigga. We don't move like that. Loudest nigga in the room. You know what that mean? But, uh, say that to say, look at what's going on. I just, I just channel surf the YouTube. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to, you know, I'm in the back seat. Fighting to get back to the, fighting to get back home, man. So, for, it ain't gonna never be nothing. But it's time for me to. Right now, I'm just letting my hair down and see, man. I mean, I'm I'm, th I'm too thorough. And I'm just I'm just surrounded by some shit that wouldn't even survive. Some shit that wouldn't even be around in physical form. Just surrounded by no. Just surrounded by uh, fucking cyberspace ass niggas way over here, way over there, doing the same fucking thing. I actually seen a nigga over there sounding like another nigga. I'm like, why are you lying? And then don't open your fucking mouth. <laughs> don't open your mouth. And why you mimicking another dude? Y'all some y'all some grown ass men to be like to be not having no mind of your own. So don't be talking that shit because if it, if you can't keep it up, I mean, trust me. You don't have, I don't, you don't, I don't have to say who I am too much. So I niggas say this shit all day, every day. This is, I'm doing this video, I'm doing this, uh, <laughs> the commentary doesn't sound like what they be saying. Like, this my platform, and, uh, I ain't got shit else to say. But, uh, let me talk about what so-and-so and so-and-so are doing over there. Don't y'all think that shit fucked up? I mean, look at me. Look at you. Why you saying that kind of stuff? You just doing that over and over again. Talking about, look, I'm different. I'm different. Over here is different. This is why all y'all should come to it because y'all see what they doing over there. Every damn day saying the same thing. You ain't different. You ain't different. Because everybody else saying the same thing. He, what they doing over there? All this channel surfing, channel surfing ass stuff. And that's, that's, that's all y'all can do. So if that's what y'all call content, who the fuck am I? I mean, with the channel, I'm, no, I got, I mean, I'm glad my shit started with True. <laughs> Just to see the back of my shirts I had made way before YouTube. Say Believe on the back. Say Believe on the back, man. That's a motivational message, man, until I get to the house. Still dog tired, but, uh. I advise all men sitting over there to take this challenge to 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 don't like what I just said, and then to go take your ass and look in the mirror before you you can respond. Cause I I'm ready to do so. I'm ready to cleanse all y'all. Cause I don't think we do it for the uh, fact check. What the fuck? Yeah, we gonna go channel surf. I mean, we'll take one month at a time and see how many videos you got.
talking about another nigga. And then my channel is up up for the same shit. See how many videos I got talking about another nigga. I do not care. <laughs> and if you can't pass that tip, uh, something really, 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 really wrong. <laughs> you know? So use it as an inspirational video. And uh, check your age and check your stats. Fuck your jail time. <laughs> I might wanna give I might give a fuck. They don't make you what they mean. They don't make you hard. Definitely don't make you real. But I don't know where you was in in jail. You shouldn't have never went to jail, so you should have had enough sense to <clears throat> talk about that. But y'all can't stick to it, that's the thing. I be trying to <laughs> like Get caught, y'all get caught up in the vapors and shit, like with the rest of them niggas. So I look at that shit as a whole. If it's a whole, it's a whole. But in order to be individual, we just gonna go do some channel checking. Yeah, that's all we're gonna do. We'll do some channel surfing. Don't don't be one of the channels. They got too many videos. <laughs> Pretty much ninety percent talking about another nigga channel all day, every day. Every fucking up though. Got something to say about somebody else. Don't watch over there. And you still got to take care of your people. That's what your channel should reflect. Pass the tip. I shut the fuck up. Shoot. Sure.